Yeah. What's up, everybody? Garage Reviews here with the most special thing I'm probably going to have on here. This is a, a Distortions Unlimited animatronic. Don't mind all the, the sounds in the background. It's it's pretty wild out here. But we're going to unbox this this clown, this Distortions Unlimited clown, because y'all seem to like the, the clown the clown videos like that yum yum puker but we're gonna get into this got to cut cut around here if i if i like damage it's gonna suck all right so we took the top half off and this is what we're seeing right now looks pretty good pretty good all right so for the most part he is out of the out of the packaging so Let's take the plastic off see how he looks all right so he's got his packaging off he looks uh looks really cool right now so i'm gonna fiddle around with him get him hooked up to air figure out his speaker and everything and he'll be ready to go all right guys so what is it jane like three hours later is it like three hours later jane yeah. finally i kind of figured out this thing uh not really though i still gotta do some work on it very um I like it. The mouth movement isn't as good as I was hoping, but I'll go ahead and play him for y'all. And here's the speaker. I it's really loud. I gotta turn it down. But here, I'll play it for y'all real quick. Yeah, the speaker's down a lot. You can see like the mouth movement isn't the best, but I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and it looks kind of bad now because uh the air has been leaking out because i don't know if i have the right connection or fittings or anything but that's the gist of what it does but yeah, Distortions Unlimited cut up. Not many people have them. I know that not a lot of people bought this thing, but I'm one of the uh, few owners and I'm glad to say it because it, it just looks awesome. But... All right, everybody. It is the next day and I have cut up the clown here. Uh, don't mind. Don't mind that guy in the back. This will be the main focus for the video. For the most part, he is he's pretty much all set up. I mean, there wasn't much to do. Wasn't much to set up. Uh, sorry about the unboxing. It was rushed, and when I activated him, it was all kind of rushed because I had other people over and I had other things to do. But uh, I'm going to do a little quick review on him now. Uh, so this is a Distortions Unlimited Cut Up the Clown. And he, he's probably my, it's safe to say he's my favorite animatronic of all time. I remember watching him when he first came out in 2013 at the uh, Halloween and Attraction show and be like, wow, I'm never going to own anything like that in my life. And here, here he is. He's literally standing right in front of me, which is, which is absolutely crazy. But uh, his palette over here, I have, uh, I'm probably going to put him back on the palette for Halloween just to make him look taller. Uh, and I just kind of like the way he looks on a palette, but uh, he, he just screwed in there and I unscrewed him from the palette. Uh, but yeah, he moves great. Uh, his head goes left to right. He moves uh, his body like lunges forward and his mouth moves. And like I said earlier, unfortunately, uh, I don't know if it's a problem on mine or if that's just the way they uh, made it this time around. But the mouth movement just, there's not that much to it. And I'll actually go back here and show y'all. That's the cylinder that controls its, uh, that controls its head or its mouth movement. And it, it barely goes up and down. I mean, I activated it and watched it uh, go, and it just barely moves. So that could be the way they designed it, maybe to make sure the latex doesn't rip around the mouth because, you know, it's it's probably very prone to ripping because it's, it's, like, it's meant to look ripped already. But, uh, yeah, I got him in the little circus facade here, which he's going to be in Halloween. He's going to have all this crap in front of him. But I'm really happy with them. I mean, this is my first ever professional animatronic. I mean, I built one in the past. Uh, like a guy popping out of a barrel, but I've never actually bought a professional animatronic before. This is my first professional animatronic, and oh, I just love him, guys. He, he's he's really awesome, and I'll show you his speaker back here. Got a really cool speaker right there, which I'm sure you saw in the last clip. Hands have a lot of detail on them. 
Um, and I was hoping, because I know Distortions, they usually use different costumes and stuff. Uh, and sometimes even different paint jobs, maybe. And I was hoping I got one that really looks similar to the one at the Trans World Halloween and Attraction show from 2013. And this looks pretty, it looks pretty close. Uh, literally, the only thing that's different is the hands are like white, like glove looking things instead of like the normal flesh tone. And he instead of like a big saw, he has like a knife. So out of all the other ones I've seen, this one is like the most accurate to the... 2013 trans world trade show one so i'm really happy about that it's got a shoes i'm probably gonna end up replacing those shoes soon because i like the uh i want to put real clown shoes on them these are just you know soft clown shoes but yeah um i'm i'm impressed with them i, I like them besides that mouth movement i might reach out to distortions about that mouth because uh, i'd really like to have the full effect but you know at, uh, at the same time i kind of like it a little bit less Kind of, not really though, because it's more subtle, but I would rather have the mouth moving to its full potential. But yeah, y'all, uh, want to keep this review nice and short. Uh, and yeah, that is Cut Up the Clown from Distortions Unlimited. Um, I believe he's out of stock right now, so good, th good thing I got him when I did. But uh, it's hard to say I recommend these things because of how expensive these are, and I know most of you watching probably aren't in the market for uh like professional props like maybe like him over there from spirit but like this is this was close this was about three thousand dollars so a lot of people don't think it's worth it i personally do uh sorry about that car back there coming from distortions i you know they just produce some of the best stuff and this has been on my bucket list this has been my dream animatronic which i hate saying that word for some reason but or that two those two words but yeah, that's probably going to do it for the review. Uh, this is Garage Reviews, and I will see y'all on the next review.